Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Super Modded Terraria, and this episode, I believe, is episode 12. It's crazy. And I've just seen that there's an unconscious man nearby, which means the tavern keep is nearby, and here he is. Hey, oh, well, the bar keep. I don't know, maybe that's the US thing. Yeah, now we can fight the, um can fight the event thing, like the Dungeons and Dragons event thing, I believe it's called. And that's pretty cool. Well, I don't think I'm going to fight him just yet. But we, I think we need a house for this dude. All our houses is full so far. I think we're going to start off this episode with a speed build. Hey guys, I think I finally finished this, the build. I believe this is suitable housing. Yeah, the tavern keeps tavern keeps come in here. Let's wreck this light faded zombie. Let's put our stuff away. Get put these into the blocks. And yeah, it's turned out pretty well. I want to say, though, that fallen star is just hanging on the edge. Pretty cool. I don't need a fallen star. No one needs those. I have these chests. I mean, I'm pretty sure these, it's like too many. These might be too many chests for now. But I do have this miscellaneous place where I can, um, where I can like split this miscellaneous chest into different things. For now, I'm not sure what I'd split this into. These chests. Need to go into building materials right now. Like, this is enough. But, I don't know. Also, I have way too many mushrooms. I don't know what to sort this stuff into. I think I can sort this stuff into, like, natural stuff. Like, naturals. Like, vines, cobwebs, acorns, yellow marigold. Then, like, I don't know where to put this stuff. Fallen Stars, Vial Powder, Life Crystals, Second Magic Mirror, I guess I'm going to put it into the accessories. And, well, um, like, cloth Silk. Silk can go into, like, just, never mind. Um, Bombs, Lenses, Dynamite. But now with the, this natural thing, I can take out all my seasoned mushrooms. And that sort of stuff, and just leave pure potion materials. Go to the naturals, and I can deposit all. Oh, wait. <sighs> I took all this stuff back. Take back all this junk. Leave everything here is natural. And then I can go to one of these chests. And I can, like, name this bottom water chest. I can call this one explosives 
And I can put this stuff in, the grenades, the dynamite. And then the rest of the stuff, like the silk, life crystals, vial powder, fallen stars. Won't go into tools. It won't go into this stuff. It can't go into the accessories, the ores, pre-hard mode drops, hard mode weapons, building materials. The stuff all doesn't count. Is that sort of stuff so and it won't be in potions or in armor so I'm wondering where I, what I can name it do I like just I think I should just create like cra a crafting materials area like crafting materials and I can just put all this stuff in. This is weird. Because we have like the pre hard mode drops. But I guess we can also have like a crafting material stuff. Or I can just call this like misc. Probably gonna just call this misc. I'm sorry, this is kind of all over the place. This. This organizing, but well, now we got a tower for the tavern keep. Hopefully, he'll enjoy that. We need to close this door that's causing most of our problems. And yeah, pretty cool. Oh, we have too. We have too much red cloth. Dang. Um, guess I'll take out the coral. So much red cloth, I don't think I can use all of it. And merchant here, buy my junk, buy my ancient bow. Anyways, so, I, I was thinking what we should do after we built that house. And let's fight Cumalor. And it's, we need a suspicious looking cloud. With that, we need to get to Sky Island, which is gonna be pretty hard to do but luckily we have one gravitation potion and we'll have to use this one wisely let's see what we can find there's no way there's one just like right here right I doubt it oh wow well, that was really glitchy okay Still nothing. This is a medium world, so there shouldn't be too many things we're missing. Also, I guess we're at night, so this is really patchy. Which kind of sucks. Oh, it's press up to reverse gravity? Did not know that. Maybe we'll find us. There should be like a few sky islands here and there. And also, once we find a sky island, and if it's not a sky lake, we can mine some of the stuff we find on the sky island and use it to make the aerialite set, which I believe is even better than like this perennial ore stuff or whatever it's called, this green ore that made a bunch of pickaxes and the armor set, the alluvium. Yeah, that's what it was called. Yeah, um... It can, it's like higher up in the progression. But we really need to find a Sky Island. This is getting kind of ridiculous that we haven't found one yet. This is also kind of sad that we haven't found one yet. Oh, wait. Damn, it's a Sky Lake. Why? Why does it have to be a Sky Lake? I'm going to still use... Um, the rest of my potions and try to find a proper sky island. That's what I'm going to try to do. We need to find a proper sky island. A sky lake will work, but it's going to just be annoying. It'll be really annoying. Oh. Okay, we did find a sky island, but I died. <laughs> So, 
That Sky Island is all the way over here, up in, up on top of the corruption. So I'm going to try to make my way over to that Sky Island. And when I'm at that Sky Island, I'm going to be right back. Hey guys, we made it onto the Sky Island. I just built a huge pillar of dirt to get on here, which is pretty annoying. Whatever, we can kill harpies now. Which is pretty cool. And now we can mine this stuff. What do we get? We got a Star Fury. We already have a Star Fury, so that's irrelevant. I was hoping we could get something better, but let's just mine this stuff. I just completely tear apart um, this house because I believe using the sun plate blocks, I can make a crafting a crafting thing crafting station. I think this yeah the sky mill right. Uh, let me just search it up. Sky Mill. Yeah, just with 20 sun plate blocks. That's, and then with that I can use area light and all is good. So, these are going to be very useful. Um, I'm glad I can mine it. I'm not sure if you can, you can mine these with other pickaxes. With like lower tier pickaxes, such as like the gold pickaxe, but probably you can mine these. You can probably um like just find a gravitation potion really early and um mine get onto here, mine a bunch of the sun plate stuff, get sun plate blocks, and fight cumulor really really quickly, which is pretty good. And I don't think cumulor is gonna be a very hard boss. I believe, yeah, it's right. It's just a little bit harder than I have Cthulhu. I'm guessing, since according to the boss checklist, it comes right after I have Cthulhu in terms of progression. So we're almost done mining all this awesome sun plate. You never know how much you need, and also we need the suspicious-looking cloud, which requires rain clouds, harpy feathers, that sort. Oh, I'm gonna need a, f a farm. I'm gonna need a farm harpies. Oh, okay. This cloud is so white, I can't even tell, apart tell it apart from the background. Like, I feel like if if I'm not careful, I'm gonna just like mine a hole through this island. I am going to need to kill some harpies. That's gonna be annoying. It's gonna be incredibly annoying. Also, cloud is surprisingly resistant. To like the pickaxe. I got some rain cloud as well, which is always appreciated. And we also need it to create Cumulor's summoning item. We need a lot more than what we have right now. I think we need 15? Uh, 30. We actually need more rain cloud than actual cloud. I need to, be, I need to turn off the auto mine, or else I'm afraid I'm going to dig a hole through the ground. And that would not be good. Also, I'm not sure if the alchemist sells gravitation potions. If someone would sell gravitation potions, that would be amazing. I have 40 rain clouds, but you never know. You you, you never know when you might want to use <laughs> clouds to build something or do something cool. So this is right above the corruption. So that's why we're getting a bunch of Eater of Souls. Which could be annoying. And also I'm going to need to farm out harpies for harpy feathers. Like I feel like this boss shouldn't come right after I have Cthulhu. I know I, I've come to the Sky Island a little bit late. Maybe I'm just really unlucky with the amount of gravitation potions I've gotten. Since I've only gotten one and I've used it to find this one island. But I don't know. I feel like people who fight I have Cthulhu probably won't have the tools or ability to get to one of these sky islands and then farm a bunch of harpies and stuff like that. But who knows? I don't know. I am probably underestimating the noobs. I'm basically kind of one right now. Anyways, we need to 
fight these harpies. I take fall damage by doing that. Anyways, once I've gotten enough harpy feathers, I need two more. I'm going to make the summoning item and we're going to fight Cumalor. Hey guys, I just killed a harpy and we got the sky glaze, which is like, which summons a bunch of harpy feathers, which is pretty cool. It's also a material and it makes the apprentice's essence, which is used to make the arch wizard's soul, which is used to make the soul of the universe, which is a pretty good item. Oh, we just killed a slime. Got another present. Got a sugar cookie. Let's eat that sugar cookie. I've just been making a very long land bridge. So I can just run along it and fight a bunch of harpies. I think I'm going to stop here. I'm going to... I'm going to build just a slight barrier here so that once I go, once I'm flying across this land bridge, I won't accidentally, um, I won't accidentally fall off. There's a harpy up here. Drop a harpy feather. Yay. Oh, no. 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 Oh. Oh, wow. We, we landed on that thing. And we got the harpy feather. Yay, we can get out of here. Okay, let me sort my inventory and make the suspicious looking cloud. So, I we've got the materials needed for Cumalor. Three feathers, 30 rain clouds, and 20 clouds in an anvil. We'll make the suspicious looking cloud. And well, we're going to, we need to use this in the rain. And well, I believe you guys saw that with some rain clouds and some rain clouds and, oh, wait, we need harpy feathers. No, to summon the rain. Okay. Change of plan. We need to wait for the rain. How about that? That kind of sucks. Um, or I need to go back up to this island and farm out some harpies, which I'm going to do for your sake, I guess. Also, by the way, he sells a bunch of potions, but sadly... He does not sell, um, he does not sell gravitation potions. I, of course I can make gravitation potions, but I don't want to. I have to go down to the underworld and I'm not sure that's something I want to do right now. So, let me meet you guys back at the floating island and uh, let's, let's farm out some harpies. And maybe, miraculously, a rain will start. Okay, guys, I've gotten enough feathers. Extremely painfully, but I've finally gotten enough feathers. And that's good. That's very good. Nope, do not put those stars in here. Just screw those stars. Okay, and also these should go into drops. I only need three. And also I need a bunch of... Need a bunch of rain clouds. I believe I need 30 of them. And an anvil. And then I can make the king's tear. Which will summon the rain. I just use it like this. I right click on it. What? How do I use the king's tear? What? Nothing is happening. I think I read somewhere that you have to wait a while for it to start. So I guess we're going to be waiting a while. Oh, wait, no, there's, so, there's walking goldfish. Does this mean that the rain has started and I'm just blind and I can't see it? 
And can we summon? Oh, yes, we can summon him. The rain has officially started. Okay, we got Cumalor. Oh, wow, he's got the evil clouds. And he is... He is barely taking any hits from my weapon whatsoever. Okay, we got a few hits in. I'm not sure if you can see him. It's all the way up here. And he's just summoning a bunch of rain clouds like um like that staff that summons like a little ma mini like rain cloud sentry thing that is dealing damage but i am hitting him pretty hard and i think he's gonna die very soon which is always good um uh, where is he i cannot see him okay he's dead yeah okay we got the royal nimbus staff Summons a royal nimbus to fight for me. We got some clouds. The heaven like wings. We got autostratus. Summons a royal cloud. Let me try to use it against you. I have no mana. Okay, now I have mana. Um, so this. Got an ancient hammer, of course. Um, so it like releases a nimbus cloud, which is pretty interesting. I think some of his clouds are still here. Like, he has one cloud above there. Okay, we have the Royal Nimbus. Uh, let's let's use him instead of the Antlion Staff. Because he's a lot better. He has a lot more damage. Okay, we can finally retire the Antlion Staff. It's been long enough. So... Now we can just put away some stuff. We have 700 gel. That's absolutely ridiculous. Um, let me put these in my potions. Potions. And we can put these in my melee weapon area thing. I mean my weapon area thing. Oh, so yeah, the Austro astro status i think i'm gonna stick to melee and well the king's tier i'm gonna get i guess i'll put it in my tools because it is a tool to summon the rain and also he dropped a lot of gold anyways i think this is gonna be the end of this episode it's been a pretty good episode we've done a lot and we killed cumalor which is pretty good and, well, we also uh, discovered a few Sky Islands. Good as well. And we also built a house for the Tavern Keep. And we expanded our inventory size, which is oh so good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys next time.